Hello folks, I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm going to take a look at another story in my collection of Saki stuff that I just picked up um, and started reading that has all the his things from his novels to his um, plays uh, to all of his short stories, hundreds of short stories that he's published. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at that. I want to take a look at today's Gabriel Ernst, which is considered one of his best works. If you take a look at the top 10 or top works of Saki in a number of places, you'll see that, that Gabriel Ernst is one of his stories that's most well regarded. And we want to take a look at that for you today um, and kind of unpack that for you if you've never heard of it um, and so forth. Saki is a um, probably a lesser known uh, uh, somebody who's writing at the same time of H.G. Wells. A lot of other folks during that, or Bram Stoker, folks in the 1890s, 1910s, uh, and so forth, uh, helped pass away in World War I on the fighting on the front lines. He has a very prolific talent for writing, and his major sort of uh, things that he writes against are sort of the puffery, the, the self-serving aspects of the Victorian era, particularly of the, the nobility and the upper class during that era. Uh, so if you if you're enjoy that sort of dark humor, um, an aim takery, and this is going to be another example thereof. It's going to be set out in townships. Um, your main character is going to be a sheriff um, and a justice of the peace for that town. Uh, and he's going to find on his property one morning this naked boy who he's never met before, who is kind of just laying out there kind of all sardonically in, in, in just basking in the sun. And they'll begin a conversation. <laughs> he asks who this person is. Uh, where they come from, the answers aren't great. Uh, it seems that this person's a little funny with him. He'll give answers with things like, uh, you know, I, I can, when one offered food, it's like, no, I'm fine. I eat them. I can, I can catch them. He's like, those are the things that you're talking about hunting, like rabbits, are very difficult to catch. He's thinking as a young boy. But he's like, I, no, that's okay. I can catch them on four feet, which he thinks means that he has a dog to help him hunt. Anyway, uh, other things like that, he talks about hunting better at night during the day, and he'll also mention a few other things too. Um, he'll also mention um, as, as, uh, that, his, that his favorite type of flesh to eat. We're talking about eating and talking about flesh is, is child flesh. And of course, the person thinks that this boy is just joking, but it's not funny because the child died a few months ago. And um, anyway, uh, after he leaves, he's like, but we had a child here. He talked about not having child flesh for months, and it was just a joke. What weird coincidence. So he starts to do some investigation of trying to find out who this boy is, what had happened. Uh, and he'll start reaching out to some of his nearby neighbors to check it out and see who this person is and why he's here in this town. Um, so I'll leave you with that. Because that's about halfway through the story. Saki's story, story is going to be very, very fast. Um, but I'll leave you with that. Um, the description of the boy himself, um, then his name is going to come from this guy's aunt, uh, Gabriel Ernst, is going to be the name that he's given by the aunt um, who, who welcomes him into their home uh, against the better wishes <laughs> of uh, our main character. But anyway, you get the idea. I think there's some latent homoeroticism in this piece with the naked boy uh, and the older guy who pauses and is puzzled by it for a little bit and kind of and they have this look back and forth of each other. Uh, I think there's a little bit of latent homoeroticism. It may not have been latent. Uh, Saki was definitely somebody who was gay, so it may not have been latent at all. But I think there's some of that in that in this piece and in, in a couple of those scenes. Um, uh, particularly that first scene when he first sees this this guy who's probably uh, you know probably 13 or 14 um, and does, doesn't act like it acts like a little bit of a more adult kind of sardonic um, but anyway you get the idea and has this sort of pan like fawn like appearance I mean he's still a human but he has this arresting appearance uh, and charisma to him so anyway uh, so I think there's that a little bit of that in the, in the piece, uh, but I also like the piece. It's well written. Um, it's strong writing. There's a reason why it's considered one of the masterworks of somebody who is regularly considered one of the better horror writers out there. His stuff is regularly anthologized in horror anthologies, um, and there's a reason for it. He's also a very short writer. I mean, his short stories. I mean, if you have a short story of his that's ten pages, that is a rare thing. If it gets to double digits. Typically, it's going to be a whole lot less than that, um, you know. And you can read many short stories. I read this short story in the previous one I reviewed for you from him, um, Laura, in like a half an hour, while, while taking a bath one day. It was like super fast, um, you know. And that's who he is. That's who he is as a writer. 
Uh, and he, so the good thing about having a Saki collection that you're taking a deep dive into is that you have the t you you can easily do two or three stories a day, and you won't even have spent a half an hour or an hour on them. Um, which gives you the ability to knock out many stories and have a sense of accomplishment <laughs> without investing a lot of time into it. So I like it uh, for those reasons. And I'm going to continue my Saki journey. I already know the next couple of stories I'm going to be reading. I've got them lined up. I have read some of the stories that I really like a lot but aren't in my three sort of genres, science fiction, fantasy, and horror for you. Um, so I'll go ahead and leave it to you there. Have you read anything by Saki? What did you think about it? I'll, I'll link you to it in the comments below. And if you liked um, this video, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be so many more of these reviews to follow in these genres for you. I try to find these unpacked, uh, I try to unpack these classics for you that sometimes you've either forgotten about or never heard about. Or you never had, took the time out uh, to read about. And this gives us all sort of a place to kind of talk about them. Also, finally, hey, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. We all have such busy days and busy lives and so many things happening. So the fact that you spent this time with me, this is something I really appreciate. So thanks again and have a good one.